Negative COVID test, check. Bags packed, check. Let's go home to Sydney, Australia, after two and a half years living in South America. I'm excited, I'm nervous, and I'm so grateful for the last two and a half years I've had, and I'm gonna be back. <laughs> Not gonna cry. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing. And in this video, I'm going to review Qatar Airways as I fly from Sao Paulo in Brazil to Doha and on to Sydney. We are going to talk about food, legroom, comfort, entertainment, and COVID safety. Check-in in Brazil was the only time that I had to show my negative PCR test. After a slow yet understandable process, it was time to go through security and board the plane. Due to COVID, there weren't that many people flying, so you didn't see those long, ridiculous lines of people rushing to get on the plane. Once on the plane, the A350, I was quite impressed with how it was looking. You can see that the flight attendants are wearing kind of glasses, masks and PPE gear, which protects them and protects the passengers as well. A near empty plane meant I had a row to myself, hashtag winning at life. A sizable TV for economy and leg room to match it. I was really happy with the amount of leg room that I got on Qatar Airways. I could stretch my legs, I could bend them up and back, <laughs> up and down and all in all, great leg room. I'm quite impressed so far. We've got a, got given a refreshing towel. And I got on. And a travel kit. So let's open the travel kit and see what's inside of this little bag. Okay, what do we have? We have a, that looks like a mask, which is quite nice. We also have a mask. Oh, that's a mask. I'm not sure what that is. Gloves, gloves, that's gloves. And we also have, oh, it looks like hand sanitizer. Cool. Excellent. Impressed. I always find the safety videos a little bit boring, but the marketing department have earned their money with this hilarious take on safety. Here's a short exit. Please fasten your seatbelt for takeoff and landing. Insert the metal end into the buckle until it clicks. And to adjust, pull the strap to tighten the belt. Careful opening that overhead locker. Think my four lads. Race position. Don't move, lads. In the unlikely event of an emergency landing, please adopt the appropriate brace position. Warm. Now imagine these are seats in front of you. Then you perform this brace position. So the food, that's the big question. Here I had the chicken, some rice, a beer obviously. Although pretty standard plain food, the chicken was actually really juicy and delicious. For breakfast, they served eggs, potato, coffee, juice, fresh fruit, yogurt, it was exactly what you expect from a plane journey. And, and, and to be honest with you, it was really delicious. After about 14 hours of comfort, good food, good entertainment, we are landing in Qatar, in Doha International Airport. And in this picture, the airport doesn't seem that busy, but it kind of got busier and busier the more time I spent there. In fact, there were a lot of flights leaving, and here are a few that you can see. So after that, it was time to get back on the plane and head to Sydney. This plane was a little bit older, but in saying that, I still had a whole row to myself due to the COVID restrictions. Not gonna lie, this flight, this plane is a little bit older than the one I took from uh, Sao Paulo. It's still comfortable. Hopefully I'll still get the three seats to myself. <laughs> There's not many people coming on. I think there was like a hundred that I counted, maybe going all the way to Sydney. So, so far so good. It's quite comfortable. Uh, I've got pretty decent leg room and I don't think there's anyone behind me. Not yet, <laughs> but I will be enjoying this uh, laying down to myself and, and quite comfortable. I've got the window seat again and I'm on the wing. So yeah, it's, 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 it's all right. The chair's not too bad, pretty good. Um, but I much preferred the other one. It was a lot newer, a lot more modern, and the toilets were a lot nicer. So they've just set an announcement, all customers on board. <laughs> there's literally no one on here. Literally, as I said, I reckon there's a hundred. So yeah, thanks ScoMo. <laughs> and when I got on, we got a refreshing towel here. And then we got a protective kit, which I got on the last plane as well. And we've got the, the sanitizer, a mask, and some gloves if we want to use that. So yeah, they've definitely taken COVID quite seriously, which is nice. This is also pretty standard. Got the socks, definitely be putting them on. Toothbrush and toothpaste. This is lip balm, kind of weird. Ah! Oh no, my dad will be disappointed that I dropped the earbuds. And we've got the eye mask, which I've still got from the last flight. So 
Plenty of that. Pretty happy with the service so far. After they've given me everything, they just come around now and get all the rubbish. So they're pretty efficient at the start. They've obviously got a, a checklist to tick off, you know, hand out this, hand out that, pick up the rubbish, take everything around. But yeah, really good service from Qatar. 10 out of 10 so far. So they just did a safety announcement about the, the travel kit that we get and masks, as you can imagine, are compulsory throughout the whole flight. Even if you are vaccinated or not, uh, it's in line with the Ministry of Health here in Qatar, like it's their law. Uh, and you can only take it off to eat or drink, obviously, because you can't really, can't really eat through there. So um, that makes sense. And the, the cabin crew are wearing protective equipment for, for their safety and for our safety as well. So following the safety protocols, um, yeah, as I said, 10 out of 10 so far. Really enjoying them. As was the case with the previous plane and this plane, despite it being a little older, I'm impressed with the legroom. I do think this plane was slightly older, so as a result, I think the chair was a little less comfortable. The one good thing about every meal is it's always come with a water bottle, which is great. And obviously, because I've got the whole row to myself yet again, I can use the other tray. So I've got water and I've got a beer, as always. So, yep, yeah, again, 10 out of 10. Well done, Qatar, you're doing a great job. Again, a pretty standard breakfast, but the food was kind of tasty with a little bit of salt and pepper. And it was snacks galore. I was drinking the whole time, and when I had a drink, they would also bring me snacks and just like kind of shove them in my face, which was kind of nice. One of the benefits of it being a world pandemic, if there are any, is the fact that there is no one flying, so you've got a whole row to yourself to do whatever you want. And this is just a moment in time. The entertainment. Um. Again, I am not really much of a movie or TV series watcher, so take it or leave it what you think of the movies that were available. I watched a couple, um, and yeah, they were okay. They were, it was updated, which was the good thing. So again, if you like movies, there is so many choices. There's like thousands, not thousands, but there's tons of choices that you can choose from. As you can see, there's also TV series, there's music, there's games that you can play. So you're not... Your sport for choice, really. There's lots and lots of things that you can choose from. You will be transferred to a bus for the mandatory 14-day quarantine period in Australia unless you have an exemption or are an official traveller. You and your family will be provided with suitable accommodation for the quarantine period. The quarantine will be undertaken in accordance with state and territory legislation not complying with quarantine requirements may result in enforcement action ranging from substantial fines for a term of imprisonment. When completing the incoming passenger card, you must provide accurate personal details, including your mobile phone number. This is important to ensure you can be contacted by authorities, particularly should you need to be notified of possible contact with someone who has COVID-19. Details of how your personal information will be handled is set out in the privacy notice on the incoming passenger card. Please be patient during this process and please practice physical distancing of 1.5 metres whilst within the terminal. Do not film or take photos of any government official. Visit the Australian Government Department of Health's website for further information and download the Australian Government's COVID Safe app via the Apple app or Google Play Store. Thank you for your cooperation. So overall, I'd probably give Qatar Airways economy class a 10 out of 10 for efficiency, comfort, service, food, um, entertainment, I'd probably give it maybe a 7 out of 10, and that's only because I'm not much of a movie watcher, and I found the movies a little bit, like, not the ones that I really like. Uh, so yeah, 7 out of 10 for entertainment, but everything else is a 10 out of 10, and I definitely recommend that in the future, uh, regardless of whether you're in a COVID situation or if it's, you know, back to normality in next year or the year after, that you consider Qatar Airways. It's definitely my favorite airline and I would definitely fly them again.